Okay, we have seen baby Trixie and preschool Trixie. And now we can see that Trixie, oh, my sticky note's still here. Trixie is even older and she's gonna be off on a new adventure. And this time, We've got mommy and daddy in the picture. Read some picture clues right away at the beginning, right on the cover. If I'm looking really carefully, I can see some clues about what might be going on, what might come next, some predictions about what would happen. If you've got a prediction, talk to somebody, write about it, draw a picture. What's gonna happen with Trixie? Let's use our title to help us. Nuffle Bunny Free an unexpect unexpected diversion by Mo Willems. Again, read those pictures as we go through lots of great illustrations. This one is my a book that I borrowed from the library. Some of the pages are in a rough shape. Bear with me as we go through. Ah, yes, right away on the dedication page. Mommy and Daddy getting married, baby Trixie, toddler Trixie, learning to talk at the laundromat, first words, best friends, off on a new adventure. Nuffle Bunny free. One day, not so long ago, Trixie took a big trip with her family. They were on their way to visit Trixie's Oma and Opa in Holland. Holland is far away. If you were gonna travel far away, what kind of transportation might you use? Where might Trixie be going? So that meant taking a taxi to the airport, waiting in line, watching Nuffle Bunny go through the big machine, waiting some more, and finally getting onto a real airplane. Have you ever been on an airplane? What was it like? Can you describe it to somebody who maybe has never been before? Where were you going? Here we go. On the plane, Trixie played, and she read, and slept, and before she knew it, the plane landed. Trixie and her family left the airport and got on a train to go to Oma and Opa's house. Oma and Opa were so happy to see Trixie. Soon, Oma and Trixie were drinking cold glasses of chocolate milk in the garden. Suddenly, Trixie realized something. Trixie didn't tell her daddy that Nuffle Bunny was gone. She didn't have to. Can you think about what might have given daddy the clue? How did daddy know? Trixie's daddy called the airline and asked them to look for Nuffle Bunny on the plane. But the plane had left for China. China is very far away. Trixie's mommy hugged her and asked her to be brave. Trixie's daddy told her a story of when he was a little boy and said goodbye to his special lammy. Oma gave Trixie another glass of chocolate milk and remarked on how big she was getting. Trixie understood she was getting bigger even if she wished she wasn't. The next morning, Trixie tried to enjoy going to the cafe and the swings in the playground, 
and the carnival that was in town. And while the whole week was filled with fun things like eating french fries on the street, visiting real windmills, feeding the ducks, Trixie was sad. She missed her Nuffle Bunny. Oma and Opa understood. Oma and Opa had a plan. What do you think their plan is going to be? Let's see. That night, they had a surprise for Trixie. A brand new, top of the line, funny bunny, wummy, wunny, doll, extreme. It could walk. It could speak in Dutch. It could dance, but it couldn't make Trixie feel any better. Trixie was sure that she wouldn't be able to sleep another night in a strange bed without her Nuffle Bunny. Before she knew it, she was dreaming. She dreamed of Nuffle Bunny and all the places he would visit. She dreamed of all the children Nuffle Bunny would meet. She dreamed of how Nuffle Bunny would make them feel better. The next morning, Trixie felt better. Trixie had a big breakfast. She played with Oma on the playground swings. She even tried a sip of Opa's coffee at the cafe. It was a great day. Before she knew it, the trip was over and it was time to go home. Trixie hugged Oma and Opa as hard as she could. Then Trixie and her family got back into the train and back onto the plane. And listened to the crying baby as the plane lifted off. But can you believe it? Right there on that very plane, Trixie noticed something. Nuffle Bunny! Trixie was so happy to have Nuffle Bunny back in her arms. Happy enough to make a decision. Trixie turned around and said, Would your baby like my Nuffle Bunny? Really? asked the baby's mother. Really? asked Trixie's daddy. Really? asked Trixie's mommy. Plaggy Plaggy? asked the baby. Really, said Trixie. She was big enough. The baby was happy. The baby's mother was thankful. Trixie's parents were proud. And the other passengers were very relieved. And that is how a few weeks later, Trixie received her very first letter. Let me 
is the baby and here's her Nuffle Bunny. The end. Again, Mo Willems has included an epilogue. A note to Trixie. Trixie, I hope to watch you grow up, fall in love, start a family, and be happy. And I hope that one day, many years from now, you will receive a package. from an old pen pal. Love, Daddy. That is the end of Trixie's adventures with her Nuffle Bunny.